Hey there, my Lynn and Things family and friends. It's your girl Lynn here with Lynn and Things. And you guys know I've been doing some DIYs lately. And so I'm still trying to finish up a couple DIYs that I like to do to kind of finish off my Christmas look. So today I'm bringing you guys, I think, three more little DIY ideas. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get to a store soon for uh, your regular store haul. But I'm kind of liking doing these DIYs. I mean, because I do do that. And it's that time of season where the DIYs for me kind of, it's a lot. Because it's like, you know, certain things I like to just do myself. I mean, I, I like it. it. It gives me joy to create when I can. And then sometimes you might need something to kind of make your vision come to light. And so sometimes you got to make it yourself. So I love doing these kind of Christmas or holiday kind of DIYs um, with my displays and just how, you know, the things around the house and how I want it to look. So I just want to welcome all of my subbies. Thank you guys so much for your support and your love. Thank you for um, like communicating with me. So like if you have any questions, you guys are always so amazing. You give such glowing compliments. And I just want to say I appreciate it so, so much. I love being able to bring some content to you guys that is helpful or joyful or, you know, any in any way that I can to help someone else or just to give you ideas or inspiration because I totally love watching DIYs and it gives me inspiration. So I hope that I'm able to inspire you guys. So these are some, again, I try to keep it as simple as I can. For those who feel like they don't have a crafting bone in their body, you can even do some of these DIYs. Now, you guys know I went with a Grinch theme for my Christmas this year. Um, although I got a couple of things going on um, Christmas, but I, I kind of wanted to bring the Grinch in it too because it just looked so cute. So you guys know I picked up the Grinch wrapping paper at Dollar Tree. And y'all, why? Um, I forgot to mention this in one of my other videos that when I found those couple of Grinch items at a party city, why did Party City have this same exact paper? And if you've been to Dollar Tree, you probably saw the Elf paper as well. So they were both a buck at Dollar Tree. They had this same exact paper and the same exact Elf at Party City for about, I think it was three, three bucks, three or four, something like that. And I was like, wait a minute. You know, I didn't get around to like reading if the square footage was more at Party City, but the two rows look exactly alike, guys. And I was like, yeah, you already know where I'm going to get mine. Although at that time I had already found this at Dollar Tree. But yeah, they had the same one at Party City and you're going to definitely pay more for it at Party City. So check out your Dollar Trees, y'all. Check out your Dollar Trees. But I cut out, pre-cut a piece out because one of the things I want to make to go like in my Grinch um, sleigh is, of course, presents. So he has to have some presents to go in his sleigh. So I'm going to be wrapping up just a general box. So if you guys like get packages a lot, I know we tend to get packages. My daughter is always ordering something. Um, so if you tend to get packages a lot, this is something you have around the house already. Or if you did get something, don't throw your box away if you would like to do that DIY, this DIY. Keep one of your boxes. I'm going to wrap up a couple. So I do this every year where I wrap up faux gifts um, and to put them under the tree. Because I honestly, this is the only thing I wrap. And it's like just for decor. I don't wrap Christmas gifts too much for my girls. Like I've told this story before. I get that big, huge sack from Dollar Tree. I get two. And as much as I can fit of their gifts in it, I do that. And I put it on either side of the tree. So on Christmas morning, they have a whole side. They, you know, they know this is one daughter and this is the other daughter. And whatever doesn't fit, I might wrap. But it's more than likely going in like a, you know, the cute little Christmas bags. And it'll be like on the side. So, um, this is about the only thing I wrap. So I'm going to sit this, I think on my floor. Because that paper is big. And I'm going to just start wrapping up the first box at least i'll get it started on the floor give me one second and i'll bring it up so that you guys can see it as well and you don't have to be the greatest rapper you know to wrap the gift all i did was go one i wrapped it all the way around the box and i'm just going to get some tape i got my little tape here another thing i got from the dollar tree 
and I'm just going to affix some tape to the first side so that I can start to wrap this box. Again, you don't have to be the greatest to do this. Um, now, to get your size, because it looks like I have a lot, you're just going to kind of crease your paper. I'm sorry, you can't even see it. But I'm going to, I'm creasing and I'm going to make like a triangle. And I will show you guys that triangle in one second. So this is like the quick and easy way to wrap a gift if you are wrapping gifts. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring it up. So you kind of just smoothing it down on that side. And then you're going to smooth this side down on this side. And as you can see, it looks like a little V there. And then the excess or the triangle that you have just made, which is kind of sticking out. Sorry for all the noise. You're just kind of bringing that triangle up. And you're just going to smooth it down. And then we're going to get some more tape. And we're just going to tape down our first side. Uh-oh. All right. So just getting a little clear tape. And we're taping it down. And this is so quick and easy. I could make it look a little bit better. <laughs> um, but if you want this to be a little smoother and more professional looking, you could definitely cut this down to where you need it. But, um... It's just to go in Grinch's little sleigh, so I don't need it to be perfect. But yeah, so I'm going to fold this down. Okay, y'all, I'm messing up somehow. Okay, let me start this over. So your insides go down. Then you get your little crease. You fold it down. You get your crease. Bring it up. You fold that down, and now you got this triangle you're gonna just take that triangle you're just folding it over I kind of smooth that down and we're gonna get our tape and tape that down just that quickly I have wrapped my box um, really simple really cute really quick and then I have one more but it's small you all remember these from Dollar Tree the Halloween books so I did pre-cut my paper for that gift as well. And I guess I can use the big the gift that I just wrapped as a platform for this small one. Same technique. I'm just going to go and cover both sides of the box. Bringing one side over and then the other meeting there. And we're just going to grab our tape. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. It was a Christmas movie on. I don't know if you hear that in the background. I'm going to turn my television down hold on one second okie dokie guys so I got my first piece of tape down and now I'm going to just put one more piece and same technique I'm just gonna fold it in at the corner or get my little pieces going this is the I have been wrapping things like this for years it's so quick and easy um, and like I said I'm not a aficionado at wrapping but it works for me because I don't wrap much, but it'll get the job done for what I would like for it to be. It's not a personal gift um, that I'm trying to wrap. It's just for decor purposes. So we got us a little piece of tape there. One corner is wrapped. Same thing. So we're going, we're going to go down. There we go. We go down. You got your two. And then you're going to just fold your triangle over. Got our little trusty tape here. And voila, our second package is wrapped. This is DIY number one. Real simple, real easy, really quick. I'm going to do, and I may already have some faux presents already because like I say, it depends on what theme I'm going with or what I'm trying to do. And I'll usually wrap a couple of boxes in the color scheme of what I'm going to do. So I think I may have like a, a black and a white because I did black, white, and pink last year. So I'm just going to add those to Grinch's sleigh. So that's DIY number one. My second DIY, guys, you guys remember the wooden boxes I found at Dollar Tree? Mm-hmm. So I had a great idea 
for these boxes. So you know I'm gonna have a cocoa bar. Um, I'm still, this is kind of gonna be on the cocoa bar table or station. And I had an idea for these. So um, I figured that they could hold, because on a cocoa bar, what do you need You know, for your cocoa? You're gonna need cocoa, of course, some marshmallows, some peppermint, um, chocolate chips maybe, anything your family likes um, to put in their cocoa, right? So I was like, you know what, I'm, I think I'm going to use this to do that. Now, at first I was thinking of painting these that Grinch green, but I don't want to paint them because if I use them again for something else, I'm going to probably have to repaint it in the color I would that I'm using. So I found uh, these cute little, well, actually I cut these into squares, but this is those squares. Again, I'm using a lot of things that I got from Halloween. It's really helping because of that green. It's really playing into my Christmas. So this is those fabric squares that Dollar Tree sells. But they are, I forgot how big they come. But you get two, I think, in the little roll. You see it all the time at Dollar Tree. I just cut mine down in squares because I figured I would put them down in these squares but just to bring it some color. And so I won't have to paint it, but it's a quick way to add some color. And then when I want to use it for something else, guess what? I can, I can change it out. So I'm going to show you guys what I, how I did it or what I did with the fabric squares. Voila, just that quick. So I, this is the first one. And then I'm just going to add my little squares inside these squares just to give it a little pop of color um, and just to add to that Grinchy green. And then the polka dots are, I don't know, it's giving me uh, Grinch vibes as well for some reason. Just I'm loving the colors that, oh my goodness, the Grinch green, which I call it the neon greens together. They're just so, so cute. So there we have it. We have our insides. And then in my last video, I was saying something about charcoal. Y'all, I didn't mean charcoal. I meant chalk. So this also was being carried at Dollar Tree a while back. It is the instant chalk board. So I'm going to use a strip of this or two strips of this on the front of my little, I don't know what to call it y'all. I guess my holder or cubby, but I cut it out already. So I just cut out two slits and I'm going to use it on the front of my little box here, just like that. So you just have to take the sticky paper off. Again, I'm only putting it on one side because if I want to use this for something else, I'm able to. And I think I might be able to get this back off, but it is quite sticky. So I'm just going to put that on the front because I want to put, look at that. I want to put like a label. It's not all the way even, but that was the idea I had. So that's my first one. Sorry about that guys. And so now we're gonna add this one to the second one. Just putting it on there. And like, oh, I like how this one, this one went on a little bit more uh, even. I like that. So this is how they're coming along. That's how they're looking. Um, and then I did that because I thought I was going to write on here with chalk. I have a couple chalk writers, but I cannot seem to find my white chalk writer. I have a silver and it's just not showing up so good to me. So I changed my mind and I found these. Now, Pamela from Pamela's World sent these amazing um, stickers a long time ago. Um, my stores actually never got them. This is another one of those wish list items that I was looking for for a long time. I never saw them in my store. So thank you, Pamela. Again, I'm using, you know, some of these things I use later, but I'm just so ha happy that she sent these. So I was thinking of doing a one that says cocoa. So there is a cocoa on here. So I'm thinking of using that and putting that on one of these on the front like so cocoa and then I have one that says condiments somewhere on here <laughs> um, let's see so you got one side crackers yeah it's so many okay so condiments is way down here and then I'm gonna put the word condiments on here 
really quick, really simple. So we got that going on. And I feel like I need some color, so you know where I'm going with this, right? My trusty stickers. So you know I gotta add a little color. Um, because this is the cocoa bar, if I have some more peppermint, looks like I do, I think I'm just gonna stick a couple of the peppermints on there. And then it's gonna go with the theme of the cocoa bar because a lot of the things have like the peppermint um, theme around it or something like that. So I'm gonna just add these to that. Look at that. I love it. Just like, I love seeing these things come to life, y'all. So yes, that worked out really well. And then we're gonna put a couple more on our other, our condiment holder putting that on the end and that on the end I love this already guys so we're not going to stop here I'm going to show you guys um now my this one that says cocoa um I really needed it to say mugs but I said you know what Cocoa goes with it because I want you to know you can put your cocoa in this, y'all. So, I don't know if you saw these at Dollar Tree. I got these last year at Dollar Tree. These mugs are so amazing. Why do they fit in here so perfectly? Look at that. So, another mug I've got from Dollar Tree, maybe last year, I'm not sure. But this one, it says a warm wishes on it. Also fits quite nicely in there and so then I also have this one which has the poinsettias it is also from Dollar Tree fits down in there and then I have one more of the mugs I, I kind of wanted to catty corner that so let's see we're going to put this one here then we're going to put the glass mug there and we're going to put our other glass mug on the other side so that's how that's going to go on the table so they can grab their mug from here to make their cocoa. So that's the mug situation going on, y'all. My first one. And then this cutie pie is going to hold the condiments. And so I got these from Dollar Tree last year, I think, for like a birthday party or something. They're the candy canisters. And they do sit on like two sides so you can sit this that way or you can sit it straight up so in this one I'm going to put I think I had them sitting let's see yeah I think I have them sitting just that way I have to girl you have to work with it we have to work with it I worked with this thing earlier just to see how it would fit so okay here we go so this is how I'm going to sit this. So they're catty corner. They're not going to be side by side. They can't fit side by side, but they can fit catty corner. And then, yes, another little find from Dollar Tree. And it's shaped kind of like the mug, but it's like a, what do you call it? Like a, a salt and pepper shaker. So I'm going to have that here. But before I sit that in there, y'all, I think I'm going to put cinnamon in this. Because I like cinnamon sometimes in my cocoa um it makes me think of, it's like, because I think it makes me think of me Mexican hot cocoa. So I'm going to take this off if I can. I think I'm going to take this off of here and just put, if it's going to be clear though, because I forgot this background for this particular sticker is clear. Hold on one second, guys. Okay, guys. So now we're just going to put the cinnamon sticker on the outside. I don't know if you can see that. But it says cinnamon. So I'm going to have cinnamon in that. And then I did have these cute red circles. I'm going to put these on the tops of my two uh, candy jars. Just to add a pop of color. Because I'm liking all the red and the white and the green together. So this is the re... This is the... What is it? Not reusable vinyl. But the vinyl that you can take off. So it's not the permanent one. And so we're going to just take this and we're just going to put this as our circle. Like I said, just to add some color. And then, of course, you know, I got to put my little peppermint in the middle. Make it cute. And that's just to make it kind of festive, okay? Um, 
Oh my gosh. It just made me remember that I have green. I don't know if I have green. I was about to say, I think I got some of this vinyl and green, but I'm not sure. So I'll just stick with the two peppermints. No worries. Um, so yeah, we're going to take the vinyl, the removable. That's the word I was thinking about, guys. The removable vinyl off of its backing. And then we're going to stick it onto the lid. But I can add a green and white peppermint to this one. Okie dokie, guys. It kind of makes it look like, you know, something you can pull off or that's your top, you know. So here we go. Looky, looky. And then we have our cinnamon jar there, which fits perfectly down in there. So I'm thinking of putting marshmallows in one of these and cocoa possibly in the other. Um, and then I also have, because I have two of the little mini things, I have these as my stirs. These guys came from Dollar Tree. I love these. These are actual stirs, but they have like the cactus. I just wanted it because it was that green. Y'all, I'm loving the green. And then we have the little spatulas from Dollar Tree. These were so cute. So, so cute. So you had got a red one in that packet and a green. So darling. And then y'all know I got to have a Ray Dunn. So this one comes from my Ray Dunn. And what does this one say? Tis the season. And that's just to be cute and to stir your little cocoa and everything. So y'all. How do you think of these DIYs turned out? I was really, really uh, loving these. And these will be going on my um, cocoa bar. <laughs> yes, y'all. Thank you guys so, so much for joining your girl again for another DIY moment, guys. And again, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you like I mainly do hauls with y'all because we're in this Christmas mode and vlogging this mode and I'm doing a lot of DIYs. I want to share with you guys. I'm doing DIYs right now, but I will have a store um, haul coming soon. But if you like uh, hauls like from Dollar Tree or Ray Dunn or, you know, stores like that, Five Below, we love Five Below um, and things like that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And when you do subscribe, hit the drop down and hit the all so that whenever I upload, you will know about it. You can come over and watch the next new video. Also, hit that like, guys. That like really does help the channel. It helps YouTube to know, oh, we like this content, and then my videos can get shared out more and more, and more people can be added to the Lynn and Things family, which I appreciate each and every one of my family members. You guys are family members. You like, you comment, you keep in contact with me. I look at you guys as an extended family. I am so grateful to have each and every one of you guys out there, and Hope you enjoyed the rest of your night.